Welcome to Open Access here at 1871, Chicago's new digital startup hub. I guess not so new, two years now this month, but uh, Opening Acts is where we feature exciting young companies that are working here in Chicago. And we have Garrett Cole, the founder of Zipman's. Garrett, thanks for being here. Thank you. So this is an exciting company. I have to say, in all disclosure, through my role at Chicago Ventures, we are investors. So um, I, uh, I do have a great interest, but I also want to uh, disclose that. Uh, but tell everybody, what is Zipman's about? Well, Zipman's is a software and service platform that connects businesses and consumers with local couriers to do fast, affordable local delivery. So, you know, this is sort of an interesting space. We're seeing a lot of the bigger players trying to get into this last mile and figure out how to get the online deliveries, uh, you know, online orders delivered faster. Uh, we're sort of coming in and in our unique positioning, really looking at the current industry and trying to retool it to be something that's just a lot more efficient for sort of the online uh, transaction versus the old offline transactions of document deliveries and things like that. Got it. So these are the people in bikes and mm -hmm. small cars kind of moving around. Yeah, exactly. And actually what's sort of an interesting trend too in a lot of the major metro markets like uh, Chicago and New York is the emergence of cargo bikes. So a lot of times you'll see these funky looking bikes going down the road and most people don't realize these bikes can carry up to about 500 pounds of cargo. Wow. So this is one of the missions that you know we have at Zipman's is to take a lot of these you know commercial vehicles off the road as well and replace them with more fuel efficient or you know environmentally friendly uh, vehicles to do local delivery. Interesting. Well, there's a lot of interest in this space mm -hmm. in this general um, area. What what is the secret sauce? What do you all do different? I know my mm -hmm. my team at Incisant loves it, yeah. thinks it's a great service, and and, and uh, are big big fans, but. You know, what do you guys do differently that you feel yeah. like has been the secret to your early traction? Well, I think in terms of what do we do differently from the existing industry, I think we're essentially bringing a lot of the tools that a lot of marketplace uh, companies are bringing to, to bear today. You know, the transparency of the service provider is key. Uh, the customer's ability to rate their service provider after the fact is key. Online payments, just a lot of these things that you'd sort of see out of an Airbnb or an Uber or anybody like that. Obviously, that's a sort of a game changer for the existing industry. What are we doing differently than our counterparts that are also startups in this space? I think we're looking at uh, the existing service providers that are out there, the professionals who earn a living off of this, and saying, what can we do to bring them into the fold and say, you know, yeah, the document deliveries and all the things that you used to do have really declined and your industry has sort of taken a hit for that. But e-commerce is coming and it's getting bigger and bigger. Um, and so we can bring those opportunities back. So we don't want to necessarily replace them with sort of a lifestyle courier type of concept. We want to bring the professionals in because in markets like this, it's critical to have people who know the city. Um, so that's maybe a little bit of a different uh, angle that, or a different spin that we have on it. And where did the idea come from? Uh, well, we're going back a few years now. So in my last startup, uh, we did a lot of uh, different mobile applications and web applications around uh, fleet management solutions. So essentially monitoring fleets and sort of determining uh, fuel consumption and maintenance records based on how the drivers would, would perform behind the wheel. Um, uh, from that, right around 2010, we started seeing companies like TaskRabbit and others sort of come on with this crowdsourcing model, which was very interesting to me. So we, you know, myself and my two technical co-founders sort of merged, you know, our past history of working with fleets uh, with this notion of crowdsourcing to sort of come up with something that we think is a much more efficient model, getting rid of hub and spoke for last mile delivery and going with a much more distributed model like a cab service in the city where you're not going back and forth to the same distribution center, but you're going on to your next pickup or drop off location. Interesting. Interesting. And what can you share uh, about traction to date? I know you've had some mm -hmm. good success, but mm -hmm. what, what can you share about Well, we've, we've been in New York for a couple of years now, and as a lot of you can imagine, when you go from, I didn't mention it, but we, we started out in Grand Rapids, Michigan, so you go from a secondary market like Grand Rapids and you plunk down into New York City, a lot of things have changed. We've, we spent the first year really rebuilding the platform to account for the challenges of, of a metro market like New York and Chicago. Um, in about the last six to eight months, we've really started to pick up steam and we've sort of honed in on that segment of the market that we think we can really enable. Um, our focus really is around companies who are not necessarily, that where delivery isn't core, but is extremely important. And why I say that is because if it's core, then you might want to do it yourself. You might, you know, if you're an e-commerce company where you're trying to guarantee deliveries in 30 minutes or less, get your own crew to do that. But if, if delivery is really important as an e-commerce company, we're a great partner. So as we started to find those opportunities to really excel, we started to ramp up very nicely. Uh, we're doing hundreds of deliveries a day in, in New York. We're starting to do in the, in the hundreds, of day, uh, hundreds a day in uh, Chicago. And so really now our, our focus is those two markets and really scaling those up. Great. Um, and uh, 
you know, when, when Zipmans grows up into mm -hmm. its ultimate vision, you think about the vision for what it can be as a uh, company. But yeah. what does that look like? If we were sitting on the main stage yeah. in 10 years, what, what do you think that might look like or be? I always tell people delivery doesn't seem to be sexy to the average person. I mean, it's just not something people really talk about and say, oh, man, I just had this great delivery experience. You've got to try it. You know, we just don't think about that. Um, but what I find really interesting about this space is that, you know, we all know Uber. Most of us love Uber. It's just such a great platform. And, and what they've been able to do in, in changing the way we move people around, right? Um, and they've done an incredible job of scaling city to city, country to country. They've had a great success with that model. Now imagine if at the same time, there were headlines every day saying, everybody's getting rid of their cars. Right? I'm from Michigan. We're never getting rid of our cars. But everyone's getting rid of their, their cars, and they're going to mass tra or public transportation. What a huge tailwind that would be for somebody like Uber. Right? We know that some people are doing that, but generally speaking, we don't see that type of trend. In local delivery, we definitely see that trend. So we, we see the Amazons, the Ebays, the Googles, everybody saying, we've got to get those packages to people much faster. That's really the tailwind that we've got behind us. That's where we think we're going to go as a company. And so it's really starting out in a couple of these major markets, scaling that out, nailing it, and then scaling it. Or scaling it, then, uh, you know you know what I mean, nailing it, and then I scaling it. I feel the same, nailing it. Some days I don't know what it is, but you know, nailing it first and then figuring out which markets are important. But what we know is that the trend of wanting things faster, wanting things more affordably and, uh, and getting it more convenient, not just when you want it, but where you want it. Maybe it's at Starbucks, maybe it's at the office, maybe it's at home. Where you want it's going to be a, a big piece to this overall new delivery model. So next few years, that's sort of what we're, you know, what we're targeting. Well, it's an exciting vision. We're excited to have you here. Thanks for doing it. Thank you so much. Good Appreciate luck. It. Thanks.